The topic of nutrition and hydration has become more prominent within Catholic circles, in large part because of the death of Terry Schiavo, the Florida woman who fell into what is called the persistent vegetative state, or PVS. The most important fact about the Terry Schiavo case is that she was not dying. She was in a stable medical condition. She died of a lack of food and water, which was taken away from her. If the medical death certificate is accurate in this case, it will show that she died of dehydration, not PBS. No one has ever died of the persistent vegetative state. Neurologists define the persistent vegetative state as a lack of awareness of self and of the environment. Recently, researchers have discovered that some PBS patients are in fact conscious of their environments and so of themselves as well. They're able to respond to certain cues that researchers give them. This created quite a stir within the scientific community, but really should not have, because the definition of PBS has always been somewhat suspect. After all, these patients do have abundant brain activity. That activity shows that they enter into sleep and wake cycles. If you ask the neurologist who it is that is falling asleep and who it is that is waking up, by definition they have to answer no one. The definition of PVS depends on the premise that I, the scientist, can know that you, the patient, are not having any conscious experience. That's a very difficult judgment to make, especially in the face of abundant brain activity. Patients who suffer a mental disability should not be deprived of food and water simply because others think they have a poor quality of life. The case of Terry Shiva was a case of euthanasia by omission. She died because something which could have been easily provided to her was taken away. And in fact, it had been provided to her for quite some time before it was removed. There is a difference between treatment and care. A treatment is some medical procedure which cures or alleviates a disease. Food and water do not cure any disease. They are part of the ordinary sustenance that is deserved by every human being and ought to be provided to all.